Okay, uh, first thing we're going to do is uh, we're going to make a, the leaf pattern for our, our plant or bush. Um, I have 512 here by 512, and then I just grabbed this leaf. I grabbed this from Wikipedia um, so I can use it here. And then I'm going to just say all copy, and I'm going to paste it in here. Of course, it's going to be too big, so I'm going to transform it downward. Um, by simply locking this and moving this over here just so it fits. Um, holding shift to keep the constraint of the scale. Now if I were really doing this as a uh, you know a tree or something like that, this would be you know patterned in with a whole bunch of other leaves in there. I'd have a vegetation pack in one thing. But for for now, this is fine. I'm just gonna work on this and and uh, I'll show you how to basically construct the leaf. So once that's in there and this is all set to go, um, the easiest way to do this is just go into the channels and pick, the, I usually pick the most contrasting channel there and simply grabbing the magic wand and selecting and then you can go here and I'm going to just delete. Uh, um, or actually if you want non-destructive you would just simply mask that in and then invert, uh, which is control I, invert the mask. Now this looks all fine and dandy, but the problem that we're going to have is that when you create um, your picture, you're going to have these um, white pixels that are all the way around. Um, and as you can especially tell this if you put a darker color, um, let's just choose like a, a real dark brown or something like that and fill the dark brown in there you can see some of the the uh, little pixels um, and uh, that are going to happen on the edges here which is which is fine and dandy um, because we have to fix that so what we're going to do is you want to take and get a sample of the color now I don't recommend the point sample I'd read do something like five by five uh, something that's going to give you a kind of a, a mid-tone background and then you can put that point sample on there and um, basically paint that in there so that way your um, your sample will get a, will be relatively close um, now what you can do is always kind of go around and I'm just I've just got a I'm going to just use a fuzzy brush here, nothing nothing major, and I'm going to just go around and just kind of sample this and kind of paint around like so. So that will give you, will get rid of anyway, but the majority of your And then here, so like we can do kind of this. And I'm just using a mouse to do this. That's why it's, it's you hear a lot of probably clicking in the background. But anyway, so, you know, what I'm doing here is just sampling these outer colors to blend in so I won't see that white, um, that har harsh white uh, um, line up there. All right, and let's pretty much just kind of, you know, pick and choose around it. Um, I did s so something like this, and so you just kind of, kind of go around and and paint these colors in there, and kind of match them up as close as, as close as possible and that'll that'll save you like I said from having you know your these lines now I've already got the alpha channel in there okay so if I want I can always uh, alt click on that alpha channel and do a selection again like so and uh, basically that's my layer mask right there so this is all said and good um, I can actually go in, deselect, and use the brush. We'll just make sure it's hard so I don't get any overflow. And swap colors. 
All right, so I can actually go in here and just hold shift down real quick and just paint this. Oops, I didn't want to do that. So just paint like so. And there is my alpha channel um, all set and, set and ready. All right. And then when I go back into uh, my layers, like so, um, I could actually flatten this if I wanted. Oops. And undo that. I have to actually. Let's try this once. Nope, it is not going to keep my alpha channel. Um, so then, in that in that case, just select your alpha channel here, and we're going to flatten E, and then in alpha channels, create a new one, and just fill with your white again. All right. And notice there is a little bit of selection down here. Um, if you deselect and just make sure you we're just going to uh, lower the size here and just make sure we trace that so there's nothing there so once that's all set and done you're gonna save this off and we're gonna go into max and I'll pause this and uh, go from there okay um, now that we got that actually I need to open max so we're gonna open max um, and just so you know I saved the uh, file off as a TIFF um, TIFFs will pay attention to your layers as well as work with alpha channels built into them um, if you're doing unity or anything like that um, what you want to do is make sure that you have uh, you you pay attention to their documentation and see what channels you need and how, how they do it. Some do separate channels, some do um, a number of different ways. So uh, with that in mind, I'm just going to do a plane here and I'm actually going to want geometry in there. Um, not that much, so I think I'm going to um, keep it at, we'll keep it at four and we'll go to two. All right, so with that in there, I'm going to just zoom up here and take off the grid so you guys can see what's going on so with that in there um, we're going to open our material editor and uh, we are going to use diffuse and going to choose bitmap and we're going to go and find our desktop and choose what I named it leaf alright so I'm going to open this and I'm right off the bat going to apply that and then show you that there's a leaf there. Now the next thing that I'm going to do is this seems to fit for pretty well, but what we're, we're going to do is we're just going to go to uh, and add a UV map on there, and I'm going to do a bitmap fit, and that will um, give me that a uh, better aspect of that ratio and then I'm going to just move this over like so okay so then what you're going to do is uh, just move it accordingly uh, something along the lines of like that and if you want you can go into the plane and resize accordingly and uh, pretty much we're done now when you render this um, it's going to render out as a single white frame like so with kind of a weird looking thing so what we can do is we can go in and use go upward go down to our maps and you've got the opacity we're going to move the opacity over and we're just going to use the a copy click here and you're going to use the alpha channel and if you notice once you use the alpha channel and let's drag rotate once you use the alpha channel there is your leaf okay and we can render that real quick and you're gonna get a transparent leaf now once that's done in there and everything looks all pretty uh, what we're gonna do is we are going to simply collapse all and that will maintain the UV parameters on there and 
Then what we're going to do is I'm going to just make a small little bush. And all you're going to do with that is uh, we're going to convert this into poly just because I like poly better. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to copy this and uh, say OK. And the first thing that we can do is take this and just move this, and I'm just going to do it from the side here. And just kind of rotate and move. And something along the lines like so. Okay, so that's going to give us our first leaf in the bush. Now, um, with this this leaf in the, the mid-center here, or pretty close to it, um, we can actually take this middle section here and move it downward a little bit. And we can move this one up and move this one down. And that's basically going to manipulate how that leaf goes. So now that leaf, when you render it out, is going to be uh, slightly bent a little bit. Okay, and so we can actually go in, we can tweak these, tweak this all up if you want, and move it kind of wherever you need it. But basically, once you're done with that, I'm going to go into the effect pivot only, and I'm going to move my pivot downward here, like so, and we can actually just rotate this and we're going to just rotate it twice just for giggles here and then what we can do is we can grab these three and so on and so forth and all I'm going to do is I'm going to move that up and I'm going to rotate that around and like so and so then what you can do is when you render you'll see your uh, pieces like this. So that's how you do your plant texture. All right.